The MTA cannot police the trains. There needs to be people who are police officers on certain platforms, not at the dang toll booth, all day long. Let this play out, baby. This shit's so mean. Check me right here. <laughs> I'm on another level. What about this part, Pat? Check it. This is 24 year old Carlton McPherson. He's from the Bronx. McPherson is charged with murder. Investigators say he pushed a man to his death on the subway tracks track. and is confirmed dead underneath. If you know anyone traveling home from work at this time is BBN Jack Frost. What's up party people? I so yeah. So apparently, someone got pushed into the tracks. It was a man. He got pushed into a tracks. I believe they said he was about 57 years old. And he got pushed into the tracks by that scumbag that you just saw right there. And for whatever the reason is, they ordered some people to come protect the trains. But they're standing at the toll booths. Okay. Now, this is what I'm always trying to tell y'all about Democrats. I don't trust the politicians, not all of them, but many of them. And the reason why I don't trust them is because they create the problem. And then after they create the problem, they want you to vote them in the office again to fix the dang problem. We have a public problem in New York City that has to deal with mental health. That it is terrible. Wherever you go, there's some weirdo trying to get into your space and create a viral effing moment. That's one. Two, 125th Street. That's where this happened. It's all you see is homeless people walking up and down the platform in various. I guess forms of clothes <laughs> sometimes they just not dressed really and for some reason the city doesn't think about sending people to 125th to aid these individuals they should have a whole booth at 125th that's specifically to help people on the subway that needs assistance whether it's getting them to programs whether it's helping them out with their substance abuse, if that's a problem, or even if it's just some of these dudes need someone to talk to. There should be somewhere for people to be able to get food at certain times of the day. This is how you're supposed to run a dang city, not the way that they're running it now. You cannot create the poor and then say, go get a dang job. You can't create an environment that harms the inhabitants and then also say that you're not even going to give them any support or help. That's not what the government is supposed to be for. Now, with that being said, this individual who probably who 100 percent suffers from mental health problems. Was probably starving. Probably had nowhere to sleep. Probably got people laughing at them all day. How many years do you think a person could live like that before they snap?
So they send the National Guard to guard the dang toll booths while on the platform people are still getting killed. Democrats, y'all. Democrats. They say that they're for us. But all they do is promise us things that even if we got them, they probably wouldn't be a good idea. Now, once again, my issue with this young man, besides what he actually did. Pardon me, my issue with New York City. Besides the fact that this young man slid between the cracks somehow, didn't get the help that they needed. I have a homeless, there's these, um, they're supposed to help homeless advocate people. You know, these assholes follow me around. I'm about to tell y'all some real shit while I'm really pissed off about this. There's these homeless advocate people. I forgot the name. When I find their names, we're going to get their names and we're going to start doing content on them every time we're talking about this homeless problem. You know, these people follow me around. This is real talk. And call the cops on me. When there's people out here like this that are actually homeless and need assistance. These people are following me around. And harassing me like that's their fucking job. Why you got people who are starving on these streets? People who don't got nobody. For all of y'all out there that got family, you don't know how it is not to have nobody. I do. These people out there, they don't got nobody. They don't have no family, don't have nothing. Why wouldn't you expect for things like this to happen? Now, I feel bad for that man that, that lost his life. I feel terrible for him. I also feel bad for the young man that did the stupid shit. But I got stabbed on the train about a month, like two months ago. These dudes are just on the train, being willy nilly. Looking for people Because in their mind they don't have nothing to lose So they're looking for people To try to take their life from them If it's not their actual life Just take that moment from them That might disrupt their life Our city is using our tax dollars For everything else other than the dang people that live here And I'm fed up We supposed to have humanity. There's just a certain level of consideration that we should have for human life. We got to go to the voting booth. We got to let them know that we don't like this. I'm pushing that we vote all Republican. I'm pushing that we just start voting Republican. Just look into the person a little bit. Make sure that they don't got no like SA charges against them or, you know, they're not a scumbag. And if they're not a scumbag, I'm ready to vote for them. Because voting in Democrats have turned America into something that is just, we're, it's Babylon. We're living in Babylon. They want our children going home to play with themselves and the, and, and the pleasure other children apparently, because that's what these books that these Democrats are putting in the schools. They also want children to go pleasure adults. And I'm saying that because that's what the books are saying that they put in these schools. They want children to go to adults to learn how to pleasure themselves and to learn how to pleasure others. 
That's what they're putting in these books. While we got these guys, like this, just threw his life away. While we got these guys out here needing all types of different help. Physical, mental, spiritual. But the Democrats want our children focusing on carnal activities, pleasures of the flesh, adult behavior. And y'all keep voting these people into office and I don't get it. When you are a grown adult and you tell me the reason why you know that you are part of the LGBTQ community is because when you was a kid, you wanted to touch other kids or touch adults or do anything alone. That means that you are a pervert. That means something happened to you. You saw something. You were opened up to something that definitely wasn't for you because kids ain't supposed to be thinking about stuff like that. They have a new law, I think they want to pass it in Texas, where kids can't even get on, I forgot what state it is, but, or could it be Australia, I forget where it's at, but apparently they want to make it so that you can't even get a, can be on social media until you're 14 years old. I say we move it up a little, but I'm right on there. I say that we're at a period in time where you shouldn't be allowed to be on social media until you become 18. I think unless we do that, there's no way to save these kids. It's just impossible. Their mental health is being affected at a rapid pace and at an earlier age. And this man right there he took that man's life, pushed him in front of a train. He's about to spend the rest of his life locked up. And there's going to be points where he's locked up, where he's going to be happy that he did that. Because now he's not alone. And now he's not hungry. And now he has somewhere to sleep. This is not how society is supposed to be ran. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Grown Spawners. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I get. This is 24 year old Carlton McPherson. He's from the Bronx. You know the coke good when the police get the fiend chills To me the streets was better when it was flooded with e pills. Caught G with a hundred bricks, coming back from Greensville Judge hit him with 60 years, shit don't even seem real Death is guaranteed, all we have is free will Your man turn rat in seconds depending how the streets feel Gamble with your life, wisdom only come with time younger Paul A all day, when I lose I keep the line running I'm just warming up, give me a second, game is mine Cause they're scared to do features cause they know I'ma take the shine from them Climb the mountain, respect for my stone and I pulled them up You can't be a big dog when your whole gang full of money they pouring money in the bank They pouring purple in they cups Everybody selling dog food but don't feed the pups Park it up, we don't do drive-bys, we walk it up You attach to who? Your movement don't startle us We already know who riding like a charter yeah. bus I'm a bod mine, keep me a K, shout out my Charlotte plug Down south, first time shooting at when I caught the rush Yeah, I done did it all, I done seen it all If you a lame, gotta pay me for the video shoot I got it tied and you ain't been in the loop Lord mob, all bosses, watch me spinning the coop GOC is the army and all the generals shoot Let's get to that Nigga.